And we are rolling. Cow's milk. Cow's milk. You shouldn't be drinking cow's milk. Why are you drinking cow's milk? It's better than your I feel like I should put out a disclaimer. It's not applicable to people who drink gallons and gallons of cow's milk a day. This video is just to stand up for people who like a splash of milk in their tea. If we go to a coffee shop and we get offered a side of milk, we want to say yes without feeling like we're going to get judged. It's not like we've asked for the coffee to come with a side of cocaine. It's just milk. There seems to be a few recurring themes amongst the anti-milks. The first one, milk's made by cows, it's not for humans. Guess what? Humans weren't built with gills, yet we still find ways to be underwater for extended periods of time. Cue the oxygen tank. Humans weren't built to live in outer space. Yet we're finding ways to do that because we are humans. It's called using resource. Then you have the second grade of anti-milks. Cow's milk is just so bad for you. Is that a cigarette you're smoking? We live in a world now where everything is bad for you. Everything. The key is a word, moderation. Every few months when I watch the news, there is a new study to show what the next thing is that's going to kill me. Curry. Death. Orange juice. Death. I just want to go into a supermarket and not feel like I'm in a war. And then the final group of anti-milks. Yeah, I'm drinking my coffee black because I don't drink cow's milk. Ooh, lunch menu. I think I'm going to have the ham cheese toasty. <laughs> what about all the other stuff that you're consuming where there's cow's milk in it? If you're gonna get on a high horse about taking cow's milk out of your diet, then for goodness sake commit. There are more pressing things that are damaging to our health than a splash of milk in our tea. If you wanna drink cow's milk, drink cow's milk. But it's all love. Rant finished.